I am not a professional precision shooter by any means. I would like to get better at it. Um, I would say I'm a little above a beginner. Um, so that's kind of where I'd rank myself. Um, so uh, again, I take everything I say with a grain of salt. What's up guys? I think I'm gonna need to do this quick because it's gonna, it's gonna rain on me. But I really wanna do this outside because it's semi-nice outside. But anyways, this is my Bagara B14 Wilderness. Um, I picked it up for a couple reasons. I had the Remington 700 that I was using for uh, all last season. A great hunting rifle, light. I could beat it around the woods and uh, not beat in the woods, but beat it in the woods, if you, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, I wanted to swap out. I kind of consolidated a lot of my stuff after last year, especially with the ammo shortage uh, a little bit. Um, I knew better having seen this happen before, but I just wanted to get rid of a couple things that I wasn't using. And so I basically consolidated everything and picked this up. Sold the Remington, sold an AK I had, sold pretty much uh, a lot of stuff that was just chilling and uh, went went this route. I've actually had this before in two different calibers, a 6.5 as well as this one. This one's a 6.5. Um, a 6.5 and 300 Win Mag. Uh, they were the brown versions. Uh, the just the standard b14 hmrs versus the wilderness again i'm talking fast because of the rain so bear with me on that but anyways i picked this one up for a couple different reasons uh had an omnidirectional muzzle brake they all come threaded it's cerakoted cerakoted versus uh blued which is really cool uh, the 2021 version has this bolt which i just i really love this i don't know why i like this but it's just cool to me these things are super smooth bolts um but i really like that they that they did that in the 2021 version. Great triggers. I like the stock. That's why I went with this Bagara again. I love these rifles 100% overall. Never had an issue with them. They've all shot way better than I could and they've just worked really well. So again, I picked this up for a couple different reasons, mainly because of hunting. I wanted to stick with the 6.5. I like the 300 Win Mag caliber, but I wanted to be able to shoot more rounds uh, than the, six, the 300 Win Mag. 300 Win Mag is a blast to shoot, but it does have the, you know, it's it's a little bit harder on your shoulder, which isn't a big deal, um, but over time it is, plus it's harder on the barrel. And so I was really hoping the 6.5 would be a little bit better with that. And the ammo is a little bit cheaper too. And it's nice that you can actually find a little bit more now, which is great. So. I moved from the Remington because, uh, again, I wanted to hunt with this one, and I also wanted to try out Precision Rifle. I thought it'd be kind of fun, and for Precision Rifle, for the stock class, it helps to have a, a magazine, so I can get 10 round magazines for this. And you can also, so the way the rules that I've read is, I haven't done this yet, but I'm hoping to. The way I read the rules is you can have up to a $3,000 rifle in scope, which I'm way under that, but you can't mod it. And I'd already done some mods to the Remington. So I'd done the bolt knob, I'd done, swapped out the trigger, free floated the stock, um, done a couple things to it, uh, which technically isn't legal for the class. So I wanted to start with the platform that was ready to go. Uh, so with the drop mag and everything that I wanted already on it, this was a perfect rifle. And I think it's gonna be great to try that out at. Uh, so the way I set mine up is, um, I went ahead and got a Weaver 20 MOA rail. I like the Weaver, it's made in USA and I stick with the 20 MOA for longer distances. It works out great. I am not a professional precision shooter by any means. I would like to get better at it. Um, I would say I'm a little above a beginner. So that's kind of where I'd rank myself. Uh, again, I take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just the way I set up mine. So I stuck with the Weaver scope rail, 20 MOA. I like the SWFA uh, scope mounts. They've worked out really well in the past. They don't move on me. I like that they have six bolts on each each one. Um, so that's always been really good. And then this time, I've had this same scope before, but I had it in second, second focal plane. This time I went with the first. I really wanted to test it out because I've heard really good things about first focal plane. So it's the Vortex Viper PST, uh, six to 24 by 50. And I did get this in MRAD. I, I like the MRAD over MOA just uh, for me and it's just kind of what I want to learn on and get a little bit more proficient with. This is the first generation. They do have the second generation out. However, I got to solve Optics Planet for considerably less, like hundreds of dollars less. And so I figured for someone who's at my capability, this would be a great scope to, to really learn on. I'm not one of those people who, who, who says they're better than they are, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I can shoot pretty well, but I'm by no means, like I said, a precision rifle shooter in my opinion anyways so just my thoughts uh, so yeah so that's why i got this rifle I'm really happy with the platform this one has not been shot yet i was supposed to go out today i was trying to finish up the forerunner and uh we're supposed to get some rain so i'm hoping it rains because i didn't go to the range specifically for that 
Oh, another thing I want to recommend. So I'm not sponsored by anybody, but this book right here, it's a long range a shooting handbook uh, by Ryan Kleckner. I picked it up uh, just because I was looking for a good book to kind of just go back to the basics on. I, I've had some rifle training, not super long range rifle training or anything like that, but I wanted to just kind of get some basic fundamentals and just kind of start from the basics. And so this book has really been uh, a great tool. Uh, I keep finding little things in it all throughout, the, I mean, from beginning to end uh, and rereading stuff just because every time you kind of pick up something a little bit different. So I highly recommend this. I'll put a link below in the description because uh, if you're looking for a good book, uh, I think that's a great place to start. I think there's a second one too, uh, and I'll look into that, but I, I want to reread this one a couple more times and uh, really just kind of put to use the basics. Again, I think people just think they're way better than they are and they buy all these platforms and stuff and just try to go way out there before they actually learn the basics. So I really wanted to get a solid platform set up that I could hunt with, do precision rifle, and just have fun within the woods. Cause I can literally hop in the national forest just up the street and just go plinking around. So it's great. Um, I'll kind of show you what my background looks like if you're, if you're new to the channel. But anyways, if you've got any questions on it, let me know. Uh, I really love these platforms. I've had great experience with these rifles and it came with a sticker. So at the end of the day, I mean, what more can you ask for? I'll also let you guys see my rifle bag that I use and I'll put the link below in that for that as well because it's great. It's a fold-up bag. I've, I've used it for about 10 miles in the woods on a hike trying to find a good uh, hunting spot and it's been it's been great, great at the range and it turns into a flat shooting mat so it works out perfectly and I'll reiterate that again. But yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. This is the, this is the number one rifle I have right now. I'd like to get basically the same thing in the 300 Win Mag, maybe even the Pro, if, if that works out. Um, the Pro is a little bit different. It's got a little bit different features um, with the setup up here, but uh, I, th I think this is gonna be perfect for what it is. Um, it's, a, it's a great setup, actually. So again, got any questions, ask them, hit me up in the comments, and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, maybe I'll do some shooting videos or just some stuff as I learn and go along. I think that'd be kind of fun to just track it in general. So. All right, have a great day. See you on the trail, see you in the woods. If you ever want to link up, just let me know. <laughs> Thanks guys. If anyone is looking for a good rifle bag, I highly recommend this one. I got it on Amazon a while back and it's been great. I've had a couple. So basically it's a tri-fold, folds up like this, rifle sits inside and it becomes a shooting mat. So you can keep all of your data. It's got all these pockets, pouches, um, ammo holders, stuff like that. So you can keep all your stuff in here. You can lay down on it and a mat, as a mat, use it anywhere and it folds up perfectly and holds your rifle. I'll show you what it looks like folded up real quick. And folded up, that's what you get. So again, it comes in different colors. I've had them in black, uh, this is the tan version, but 100% can't recommend this bag more. I love them, they're great, it's padded well. It's got all sorts of molly straps on the back in case you wanna carry it like a backpack. I've, I've carried this for 10 miles in the woods on my back uh, with rifle and set up everything in there. And it's, it's worked out perfect. So if you're looking for a good bag, I'll put a link for this below as well. Uh, great bags.